Okay, last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna perform mathematical calculations involving significant figures. I am so excited for this. Okay, when you're doing mathematical calculations using significant figures, you determine the number of significant figures in your final answer based on the mathematical operation that you're performing. When you are adding or subtracting, plus or minus, the answer must have the same number of digits to the right of the decimal as there are in the measurement having the fewest digits to the right of the decimal. So let's take a look at the example on your screen. I've got three measurements here, 164 milliliters, 39.7 milliliters, and 18.16 milliliters. If I add those volumes together using my calculator, I'm going to get this number right here, 221.86 milliliters. Ooh. How is it possible to be this precise, precise to the hundredths place, when one of our measurements was only precise to the ones place? The only way we can make this measurement to the hundredths place is if each of these measurements were also to the hundredths place. So the rule of the sig figs when you're adding or subtracting is simply to round the measurement to the same number of decimal places as the measurement with the fewest. Another way to think of it, round the least precise measurement. Your measurement is only as good as the weakest link. The first measurement is only precise to the ones place, second measurement to the tens place, third measurement to the hundreds place. 164 least precise, so I'm gonna round to the ones place. Now be careful here, even in high school, sometimes we struggle with rounding. Are we gonna round this number to 221 or 222 milliliters? Answer, 222. Eight, we'll bump that up. Boom, big club. Okay, but what happens if we are multiplying or dividing? Multiplication! I've got so many dance moves, I call this one division. <clears throat> okay, the rule's a little bit different here. For multiplication and division, the answer can have no more significant figures than are in the measurement with the fewest total number of significant digits. As I take a look at this particular operation, a classic density mass divided by volume, I pop that sucker into my calculator. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. I'm feeling really great about myself. 2.98351 grams per milliliter. <gasps> no way I can be this precise out to like the billions place when my mass measurement and my volume measurement aren't nearly that precise. Here though, I look at total number of significant figures. My mass measurement has four total sig figs. My volume measurement has three. So my final measurement should only have three significant figures. Again, watch your rounding. Is it 2.98 or 2.99? Answer, 2.98. That three isn't gonna bump it up. Lastly, even though you may not know about these things yet, we're gonna use them a lot this year. Conversion factors, are considered exact values and should not be used when determining sediment figures and calculations. And we'll talk more about that when we start doing conversions in a couple days. As always, don't forget to take a moment and check out the info beneath the video. We are done.